That is the sound of your daily ping. Welcome to this new format. My name is Conrad Roberts, and this is the new show we're putting together for you, small business leaders or business leaders of any kind that want to get more information about AI, blockchain technologies, and what it can do in their company. So this format is, as I said, live. We are not scripting this. If things go wrong, bear with us. I have a lot running on this little machine that might sometimes do weird things. What is this show all about? So what this is about is a couple of different things. So we will have a daily show at 5 a.m. It's a little later today. It took us a little while to get all everything set up. But ideally, every day at 5 a.m. Pacific time. So that's 8 a.m. East Coast time. And as I said, positive news about AI, blockchain developments, a little bit of what's happening in the last 24 hours. GPT Workdesk is our own product, our own software package that should make it easier for you to do all kinds of AI generative things that are relevant to your company. We will show you a little bit of how, little tips and tricks. Also, we will include what we call the state of the Bitcoin. We are not promoting anything. We're just saying, hey, it is here. This is where you can go look. This is kind of educating you on where to get started, what it all means, and how you can integrate it in your business if you want to do that. A lot of people ask me, well, what's with all these wallets? What's with mining? What is a block? What is a blockchain? How do I get coins? All very valid questions. We will cover these in this show in, in a little bit more, like I said, an informal way, because this is not really a course. It is just a show where we can also have interviews with guests, where we can co to cover topics that, that, that you bring up when you email me and say, okay, hey, can you talk a little bit about this? A little bit about that. So the feedback will be important for us to include in the format. And then, of course, our new concept, it's called Ping Page. It's pingpage.com. At this point, there is not much there. It is mostly used as a kind of, you know, a, a where to go after the show, uh, where you will see more information about the topics that we covered. So this is kind of the format. It is, again, very spontaneous. It is very informal, and we hope it brings value. And the biggest idea behind this is that it is every day at 5 a.m., before you start your day, we ping you awake. That's why it's called the daily ping. So first, we will cover the topic of GPT Workdesk. When we open this program, you will see multiple areas. It's called the Workdesk because there are multiple um, panels here that have uh, different functionalities. So here, where my mouse is, yeah, okay, you can see that. So the Workdesk is, you can have multiple Workdesks uh, showing you, organizing your, your files in different ways. Here is your menu. Um, th these are the menus. Like, uh, Let's go do it like this. And this is here the website of the American Association of Small Business Leaders, which is the organization that makes these, uh, provides this content to you. It is a membership site. It is very affordable. And this software is distributed amongst our members when you sign up. And also, uh, you will have access to all our videos. If you can see here, we have videos on different channels. So the this is our American Association channel where you have the free videos. They are truncated, the first five minutes, the introduction, kind of what the topics are all about, are free for everybody. That's also on our YouTube channel. And if we go there, we also see short videos that, you know, the one minute video format and then live. I think here it says live. There we go. That's That's our live stream. And then the newest edition here is called Ping Page. Ping Page is similar to the uh, Twitter format, but without all the, shall we say, extra postings that we that are just cluttering it up. So what we do is we kind of uh, find interesting topics to cover and we will post it on here. We will eventually also have live guests and we will also have different topics that we discuss that are interested to you that you bring up as, as a participant. So what else can we see here? If we look at the GPT, actually the GPT work desk, we have the four main, 
shall we say, players that provide generative AI. And again, we go, each one of them has its own video that we go in as beginners, so on beginner's level. So Chat GPT, Bing Chat, Google Bard, and Cloud AI are all covered in here. You can run them side by side. You can actually copy and paste. We have a special clipboard. And again, it, it makes it so much easier to use the generative AI output to create your own documents. And we go into very detail on all the different documents that are relevant to small business leaders. So what we will do is we will show you how to work it because there is a lot to say about this, believe me, and show you step by step. Also, we have workshops where you can hands-on work through these issues for your specific use case. Sorry about that. So at this point, let's go in a little bit. So let's, so that is the, the, the GPT desktop. And that's another segment of this show is the state of the Bitcoin. So let's take a look at there. People ask me, so well, what is this crypto all about? What, how do I look at Bitcoin as something that can be useful to me? Let me show you. So here, if I can get my mouse back on this screen, thank you. We will switch to here and then switch this off. So here I have it already open. And this is what is called a Bitcoin wallet. Bitcoin is a digital currency. And what does that mean? That means that it is generated and maintained uh, as, as software. So you can download this. What you're looking at is called the Bitcoin wallet. It is freely downloadable by anybody in the world. And what this software does, as soon as you open it, it will find the blockchain under that uh, the underlying technology that keeps track of all the transactions and, and the coins that you have and send to your friends or whatever. So this software is automatically programmed to connect to the blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain, when it starts. And the blockchain is exactly what it is, a chain of blocks. So all the transactions are organized in blocks. And within that block, that is created every 10 minutes. It is the software that defines that that's what it does. So every 10 minutes, a block is created that will fill, you know, all the transactions for the next 10 minutes. And then the block closes and it's put on the chain and then the new block is opened. That process is called mining. So you mine for coins, basically. And I'm not doing this here because blockchain mining is, it used to be when it, just came out you used to be able you do it on your laptop and then as more people started you know contributing to it there's a called what's called the hash rate and again we'll cover this all in more detail in subsequent uh, courses for this i'm just giving you the general idea because i have a lot of questions about it people say you know how does it work so that is basically the principle and with this wallet with this software you can use the send function so here you can put an address a bitcoin address in you can receive transactions. So it's it's like a bank account number that you can, I'll send you a Bitcoin if you give me your address. And I used to do this in early on. I've sent and received many Bitcoins over the course of the years as, as the demonstration. And at this point, it is so expensive because the Bitcoin, as you will see, is more than $20,000 per coin. And then you can say, well, what can I do with a coin that's $20,000? Well, We'll talk about that a little more. And then here you have in this screen your transactions. Of course, I don't have anything. It's an empty wallet. I'm just um, adding it as, as a showcase. So that is, in a very quick way, the Bitcoin wallet. So I will close this one now because it uses a lot of my resources, even running it. So that is how you know you contribute. As you mine and you discover or you know, help create new blocks, you get a coin reward and uh, let me show you this because this is what we will do for our um, members and our users is we work together with the people of zillion coin and zillion coin is i'll make it a little bigger 
So this is the Zillion Coin wallet. It is also based on the, the Bitcoin code. It's, it's open source, so you can even make your own wallet. Um, a lot of people do it. There are thousands and thousands out there. So this is one of them. And what we did is have an agreement for using this for educational purposes. So the same principle here, send, receive coins, transactions. So these are a couple of transactions that I just did earlier this morning. But the main difference is that it has a built-in miner. So here you can start mining coins. As you can see, if I enable this and say start mining, it will do this, but it starts using my CPU cycles that I'm using for this uh, video stream. So I'll do it very quickly. So you can see here, I'll explain what all this is. So at this point, I am mining, and then you will see here I'm, ha I'm getting coins in my wallet. So these are coins that are quote-unquote free. You don't purchase them. You get these because they are what's called a block reward. So you contribute to the to securing the chain is what it's called. And in return for that, so I'm, I'm using my, my, uh, my CPU, my resources, and I'm using my electricity because as you see, as more people come on, it becomes more and more expensive to, to do that. So that is how you know you you pay for or you contribute resources to creating, establishing, securing the blockchain. So that is very quickly how all that works, and this is what we will cover. We will give you information about practical tips, what it can do. Again, all is within context of what it can do for your business. So let me close this, and we go back to where we started the coin market cap so here this is a website you can go there it's called coinmarketcap.com and this is where everything about the crypto market is available for anybody to see so you will see here the total volume the 24-hour volume the total market value is now about 1.2 trillion dollars you see a fear and greed index for whatever that is worth let me see if i can go here so yeah so let me scroll so here is the ranking of the coins so you have like i said many thousands of them but you're really interested in top 10 or the top three even because a lot of them you you're rarely going to use so this is the bitcoin and today it is worth thirty four thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars per bitcoin okay then you can say wow what can i do with a twenty thousand dollar coin well let me explain. So this is a website called Sats for Dollars. One Bitcoin, just if we compare it to the dollar, one dollar is divided in one hundred dollar cents. So the same for the Bitcoin. One Bitcoin is not divided in hundred cents, but in hundred million cents. That is eight decimals instead of three. So what that means is that we have much more fractional Bitcoins to work with, and that's why we break it down. A, a Bitcoin cent is called a Satoshi. So you have 100 million of uh, those Satoshis and one Bitcoin. And if we then reverse the thinking, then we can say, how many Satoshis do you need for one dollar? Because then it's where it gets real. So you need only 2,000 869 satoshis for one dollar maybe at some point they will get one to one maybe maybe not but this is how you can calculate it so what does it you can become a satoshi millionaire so one million satoshis for 348 dollars why is it that way you can say that's much harder to work with well yes and no the biggest benefit or one of the biggest benefits of bitcoin is that it has a limited supply you've heard about it 21 million um, bitcoins ever will be created so at that point it becomes interesting to start thinking in terms of satoshis that means it's more manageable and it's within your reach you can buy these uh, on the exchanges you know on a regular basis it's kind of a savings now, how did it all evolve? If, we, if you can see here on the bottom, I've made a, that's a website that I've created just for explaining. So in February 1, 2011, you had, Bitcoin had parity with the dollar. So one Bitcoin was $1. 
It's about 14 years ago. And now one Bitcoin is $24,000, $34,000, sorry. So you see here, it goes less and less and less. So that means that it becomes worth more and more and more as time goes by. You see a very big fluctuations because it goes, it, it's very speculative. It goes ups and down. So again, this is uh, one way to approach and understand Bitcoin and what it can do for you. And this is what we will cover. This was a very quick intro. This is what this is was very generic, but I wanted to start somewhere with telling uh, you that this is one good place to start. And as I said, we'll do it every day. That was it for this first episode. I'm really glad you were able to join and I will see you tomorrow for your daily ping.